Hey guys, this time we're going to see how to install Android Lollipop uh, 5 on Xperia X8. Yes, I can't believe it either, but this phone is getting updates of Lollipop. So uh, first, before I show you how to install uh, the ROM, let's demonstrate first uh, how the ROM is, uh, uh, which will make you decide whether you want to install this ROM or not. So uh, first, I have to say that this is uh, based on uh, Android 4, uh, the previous ROM of uh, Android 4 for the Xperia X8, but they changed the image and replace it with an Android 5 image so this is why if we go to settings and scroll down to about phone and click on Android version we're going to see that this is actually Lollipop so what does this mean they change they change just the image it means that the phone uh, you will not have full features of Android 5 but you have actually the basics of Android 5. The application of Android 5 will work here. As you can see, Instagram and WhatsApp are working. Google Chrome uh, and uh, the ROM comes with the uh, with Call Recorder Pro, with the Pro version of Call Recorder. Also, they have uh, uh, an updated version of Google Chrome, maybe the latest. Uh, it works really cool, really stable. As you can see, I can uh, make new tabs just from here, as if I was on a, on my computer. And uh, they have this beautiful application linked to SD, which uh, make you transfer apps like WhatsApp and so ever to your SD card. Uh, this will give you, uh, will provide you with uh, storage, with more storage for your internal space. And they have, uh, like always, Walkman, movies, uh, radio. I think everything is working. I, I didn't test all. I test the camera and I test the radio. I test the internet, Wi-Fi, and etc. I think everything is working. There's no problem with uh, bugs or anything. The ROM is fast. One thing I should complain about is that the boot is it takes long but i don't know if this is just a problem with my phone or or uh, you will have the same problem because this phone is really fucked up uh, i don't use it this is just for kids so they uh, as you can see they the phone is fucked up so uh, let's see how to root and install recovery and then we can see how to install the rom actually now go to settings application allow announcers go to development and enable usb debugging so uh, this guy is ready for root and install recovery let's do it all right so uh, next step uh, we're gonna need these four files root explorer the ROM Sorn Max, X Recovery, Super One Click, and X8 Drivers. So, all these files you'll find the links of them in the description of this video. So, first thing after you download these files, unplug plug your device with the USB cable, choose Charge Phone, and go to Control panel, hardware and sound, device and printers, and you should see here your device. So, right button, properties, hardware, properties, change settings go to driver and update the driver browse to my computer for driver software so we have to extract this 
now browse my computer for driver software browse and here is x8 drivers and choose uh, the folder SEMC signed click OK next the best driver software for your device is already installed close OK so we are done with the drivers next extract super one click enter the folder and run super one click uh, uh, application as administrator click root root files have been installed would you like to run a test yes okay your device has been rooted would you like to donate you can donate so we are done again with routing so I'm just gonna delete this folder and uh, we're gonna need to uh, copy x extract first x recovery And copy X Recovery and Root Explorer to our SD card. So now you need to install Root Explorer using File Manager or File Explorer or any other app. So enter it, and it should uh, super user should ask you permission, allow it, and go to your SD card X recovery and copy the first file we need to co we need to copy these three files busybox chargement and X recovery dot T A R R so copy the first one copy go back back system bin paste uh, so you should make sure that here it's mount R O not mount R W mount R O. So flip it and click paste. Go back again, back SD card X recovery. Copy the second file. Go back, back system bin paste do you want to overwrite it yes go back back SD card sorry SD card X recovery copy the third and the last five copy go back back system bin Base. and turn off your phone alright after routing and installing the recovery and of course copying uh, the ROM to your SD card next just uh, turn off your phone and then turn it on and boot in the X recovery mode by pressing mu this button multiple times back button multi multiple times when you see uh, the logo Sony Ericsson uh, here it is so and now first uh, we're gonna do factory reset 
uh, uh, I forgot to tell you that you go up and down with the volume up and down button and you enter with the home button so scroll down until uh, you find a uh, factory with it and uh, click the home button to apply it yes delete all user data next wave cache partition so scroll down again with the volume down button and enter with the home button yes wave cache and next un uninstall uh update zip from sd card enter it no 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 go back install custom zip choose install custom zip and then scroll down to choose custom zip from sd card and then go select the rom which you copy to the sd card yes install and uh, wait for it until it's done all right uh, install from sd card complete now go back and uh, click on reboot phone and wait till it's done so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it and also check my other videos about Xperia X8 and goodbye.